everyone. It's Kribini and Tina. Hi. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day and that you guys are in the best of health. Yes, with health is always the most <laughs> important. Well, here's something that we've had a couple of people reach out. It's actually one of uh, the most asked questions recently uh -huh. because everyone's getting ready to vacation. So you've landed in the Dominican Republic or Portugal. Now what? Now what you gonna do? <laughs> what you going what you got? What you working with? So let's talk <laughs> transportation options, piggybacking off of us talking about our decision out here in Portugal to rent the car and that rentals are an option. So what do you want to do? Ride share like a lot of people do? It's, it's possible in yep. both. Rental yep. cars or taxis. What do you do? So we're going to take, for example, that you're landing into Santo Domingo. We're just going to talk about Santo Domingo to use it as an example in the Domin Dominican Republic. Republic. So Las Americas is the airport there. Right. Big one. Huge airport. And let's say I wanted to get close in the same uh, type of kilometers. So I, choose, I chose the Embassy Suites at Hilton, which is a 31 kilometer ride from Las Americas Airport to the Embassy Suites. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do Uber, it's going to cost you $19 USD. And you can now, because as everybody knew before, you could not get Uber at the airport. But guess what? There's always a fix around. That's what I call it. Yes. They made it work. So here is how you get Uber to pick you up from the airport. You cannot go through arrivals. You have to go to gate one or two and you go through departures. So you're gonna go in the airport and then up through departures and they can pull up to departure. So you got away from the taxis. The taxi drivers can't stop the Uber drivers because they're all waiting in arrivals to take everybody once they land. You don't wanna go there. You wanna go up and over to departures where everybody's coming in to leave and that's where they're not stopping and regulating who's driving in. Tell me that you can't make it work. I love when a good plan comes together. Right. I love it. So, um, you always want to protect yourself too with the com when it comes to Uber. And remember that sometimes you'll have already paid with your card and then all of a sudden they'll say, I can't take that payment, pay me cash. You, do you don't double pay. Now, there are an instance instances at mm -hmm. Uber where you can choose to pay cash. If you choose to pay cash, that's different. But if you know you've done it through the, the ride, cancel that ride, just call another one. Um, rental compact cars from Santo Domingo Airport are about $59 per day without insurance and without Wi-Fi. Um, and once those hidden fees start popping up that we know that they love, you have to have insurance, you're going to need the Wi-Fi because you're driving around and you don't, you don't, you know, mm -hmm. don't want to be driving around without it. Right. Then it comes closer to $90 to $100 a day for a rental out That's there. That's ridiculous. But we suggested, and we've always said this, don't rent a car from the airport. Get some kind of ride share to the place you're staying where you're away from the airport and then use a rental car service like you used to tell people in the north and we used to tell people in Santiago. When you get away from the airport and you're doing it locally, you're getting away from that airport hustle is what I call it. And then you can get it for about $40. Right. And it's a, a flat fee, so $40 a day. Right. And there's no hidden charges. And most of them will even either come get you to go to the rental place so that they can do the contracts mm -hmm. or they'll bring it straight to the place where you're staying, drop it off, and then they'll pick it up there too. So that saves a lot of hassle. Well, we're not just talking on top of our heads. We actually did this before. Yes. In Sasua. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know. We just got tired of dealing with and being hustled with taxi drivers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we said, you know what? If we're going to be paying $10 a ride to go down the street, let's rent a car. Right. And we called them. Them guys came right up to our Airbnb we were staying, dropped the car off, fully assigned gas. it fully gas. They said, don't worry about the damage anything. Everything's covered in this deal right here. Mm -hmm. We got that car. And we was able to drive, we was able to have fun, and really enjoy our vacation instead of struggling right. and figure out how we're going to get around. But that's a bad place to be in when you fly, you and flew all those hours to get to where you're going. Yeah, because when you get to the airport, talking about the hassle of taxis, mm -hmm. airport taxis are trying to hustle you as soon as you get off that plane. Oh, my goodness. They all have the mm. same mentality, and they've all <laughs> talked to each other. They know what they're going to start uh, to start the charges at. 
And when we were there, which that's over three years, almost three years now, mm -hmm. they were charging 20 to 25, 30 bucks. And I thought that was ridiculous. It has now, because of gas prices, risen as high as $50. And they don't care how far you're going or how short it is. They're like 50. Oh, you're going a little closer? 40. That's it. 40's lowest I can go. And it's ridiculous because it doesn't even cost that much. An Uber will get you 31 kilometers for only 19 bucks. So to compare that, because we love to do that, now we've talked about the Dominican Republic. Now we're going to flip over to the United States so that you can see the comparison in prices. Here we go. Now, of course, we're going to use Las Vegas because Las Vegas <laughs> is the latest and the greatest. It's where we've been. It's where we came from. So right. a Las Vegas Uber ride from the airport to mm -hmm. the Cosmopolitan, which is way shorter distance because mm -hmm. the Cosmos are right on the Strip. And if you guys have been there, you know that the uh, airport's not far from the Strip. Right. But an Uber ride there is $40. And if it's during their surge pricing, meaning uh, when they're really super busy, if, God forbid, it's a mm -hmm. holiday or mm -hmm. something happening on the Strip, it costs more. Rental cars, and we'll guess we're talking compact cars on all the places we're talking about, are starting at $80 a day from the airport without insurance in Vegas. And the airport taxis, those good old taxis, it's gonna cost you $40 to $50 just to get to the Cosmopolitan, which again, I said, it's not far. We had a friend of ours that she flew in mm -hmm. and she had to pay- On a weekend, yeah. On a weekend, she had to pay $80 to $100 to get home. Yeah. And I think, the ride was only 15 minutes to a house. <laughs> yeah. So and some of, the, some of the hotels, though, if you're just staying on the Strip, mm -hmm. have shuttle services. So check with the, the, the uh, hotel, of course, through either email or calling to see if they can arrange shuttle service because they're not running the shuttles as often, again, because of surging gas prices. Right. And some of them are charging. So for example, mm -hmm. Cosmo will let you use the shuttle but you do have to pay $6 each way, mm -hmm. and they need you to make a reservation 24 hours before you're either coming or going. So there's that. Well, that's doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. That's, that's the cheapest way to go. So now, of course, last but not least, let's talk Portugal. Uber and Bolt, we have both, from the Lisbon airport to, we just picked Cascais, Grand Real Villa Italia Hotel and Spa because it was 37 kilometers away, so we're staying in that 30 range, was $33 US, so they're charging $33 mm -hmm. to get from the Lisbon airport that's up here to Cascais. And then when you go to get a compact rental car from the airport, you're gonna get hit with around 90 to $92 a day. Now, the reason we say that is because again, avoid the rental cars in the airports. Right. Go to your place of destination. If it's in Lisbon, if it's in Lyria, anywhere else, go there and rent the cars. Because like we told you on our video, you can rent a car in Lyria mm -hmm. for around $20 a day. So why rent from the hotel or from the airport where they're charging you $92 when you can venture out and get a much cheaper price? And airport taxis are around $36 US to get 30 some miles. So about a dollar something a mile. So you basically got to know what you're going to do once you get off that airplane. What kind of transportation? What did I plan? Right. How did I plan? Yes. Because it's going to determine your whole trip. Because if you pay all that money, because we had a friend of ours, a buddy of ours, we just met. He had a rental car. And I think he got it at the airport. Yes. But it was a raggedy car. Mm -hmm. So now you got to stop, you know. Call somebody, go back somewhere and get you another car because your car failed you. We had the same problem. We was in the Dominican Republic. The first time, yeah. The first yeah. time. AC ran hot. We had to stop. We were right. out and the freeze on the ground. They had to, we had to wait for them to drive way from Sassua to get on the top of the mountain to bring us another car so we can get to Playa Alicia where we were staying. Right. But you always want to do your homework, regardless of the country, mm -hmm. because you always want to see about local transportation. It is part of planning your vacation. So let's right. not, this is a video to just remind you, don't forget about transportation. You're so busy booking that hotel or Airbnb or planning that week or month long, mm -hmm. you know, uh, journey to out here to check to see what your future is going to look like. Don't forget transportation because it could be a big cost and a big headache if you don't. And to look for local transportation as far as trains, buses, routes, bus routes, other things that can save you money because those little things can really add up. 
So always check, 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 and do things from your locale, not from the airport. Right. And so we're just trying to give you some wisdom, how to save you some money so you can enjoy yourself. Because some countries you go into, you get off the airport, you get off the airplane, you can get a jump into a car with somebody you don't know. They're waiting on you. They can take you somewhere. They can rob you. Well, Anything can possibly happen. I'm not talking about that. Trust. I'm talking about money. <laughs> I don't trust nobody. Yeah, but money, they're going to take my money and they rob me. So, I mean, it's the same. it adds up the same thing. So, let's keep that in mind and know what you're doing and when you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. So, in the meantime, between the time, always remember that life is to be enjoyed. Yes, always make sure to hit that subscribe hit that notification bells, give this and all video a thumbs up because hitting that subscribe and hitting that thumbs up is a free and easy way to change that algorithm so we can keep bringing you great content. And remember that all information is underneath every single vidya. So until the next video, peace.